Sheffield United take to the road to Wembley in the charge of a man who knows his way. Howard Kendall, a 17-year-old cup finalist as a player, a cup winner as a manager. He's only been here for a month or so, but already he's brought in six new players. The latest of them, Don Hutchison is not eligible tonight, but Chris Shaw and Michelle Vaughan play in defence. Gordon Cowens and Mark Patterson in midfield, and David White in attack. There's also a new face in the Arsenal defence, and that's a rarity. But with Steve Bold injured and Nigel Winterburn suspended, 20-year-old Gavin McGowan is getting his chance at left back. One thing that never seems to change at Arsenal is the Ian Wright goal supply. Two more last Wednesday night, took his team into the League Cup semi-finals and took his total to 139 Arsenal goals, a number that only John Radford and Cliff Bastin have ever bettered. Kieran got in some kind of a challenge. And Carl Veard has to settle for a corner kick. What a pass from David White, though, to pick out Mitch Ward in the first place. <laughs> Towards Tuttle at the near post, Keown did well again. Helder didn't do quite so well. This is Veard. Blocked by Jensen that time. Important work being done in front of David Seaman. Turn away to White. Oh, how unlucky can you be? Vietz there with a the header. David White. A oh, whisker away from giving Sheffield United the lead. David Seaman didn't know it had happened. Broke off Jensen and just bounced a yard the right side of the line as far as Seaman was concerned putting free and Bok making up for his earlier mistake and then Cowan's giving it back to right and now held up well he did eventually break his Arsenal duck at Middlesbrough on Saturday at the time at the end of the first half for goal Alan Kelly hasn't had much to do he was done well and Mark Veer has done very well and at last Sheffield United take the lead what a really good goal Howard Kendall trying to hide his emotions but he must be proud of that beautifully played into the path of Whitehouse, who just stood Linigan up, stole half a yard. Viet got ahead of Keown at the near post. And Sheffield United take a deserved lead. What a pass from Mark Patterson, though, to spring the Arsenal defence. And for once, the central defenders lost their man. White. Ward. Chris Short. Nice move show about the cross. Oh, well left by right. This is Dennis Bergkamp. Now Paul Mercy. Well, there were three in there. Uh, Mercy couldn't pick out any of them. Tony Adams had got forward. Here in a penning for offside, but he has to deal with it. Viet this time is short. Now Cowens. It's a corner. 
Well, they've been in some tight corners in the past, Arsenal, but if ever they've needed a goal from here right, it's now. Last five minutes. Helder will take the corner. In goes Platts. Good chance. Didn't miss by much, but he wasn't far out. Uh, Ian Wright uh, clipped the outside of the post by a Tuttle. Oh, and there was a touch from Kelly too, and that might just have made the difference from the goalkeeper. It's a bit hectic back there now, more so than at any other stage of the night. But Sheffield United, to the delight of their supporters, are hanging in. Well, if Arsenal do dig themselves out of this hole, and it's very unlikely, that will be remembered as one of the moments in the FA Cup this season. An astonishing stop by David Seaman. Denying Carl Viet her second goal. Mark Patterson. Mitch Ward. Glenn Hodges. Arsenal can't save it without the ball. Well, the third round of the FA Cup never fails to disappoint. There's always something to remember it by, and this year it's another early exit for Arsenal at the hands of struggling Sheffield United in the masterful hands now of Howard Kendall. Wembley is still in Arsenal sights in the Coca-Cola Cup. In the FA Cup, it's Howard Kendall and Sheffield United that will host Aston Villa in the fourth round on Sunday week. And Villa won't like what they've seen tonight one little bit. <laughs>